There we go. Now we're live everywhere. We're live everywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday, and we are back with the Hot Tag Podcast. Yours truly, Shaheen, and my co-host. Boxman, how's it going, Shaheen? I am doing well. I'm doing well. How are you doing? I am doing good. I would have been better not stuck in traffic. Nice. Well, that's what counts. Yeah, that's an important thing. You made it. I would say that's pretty important. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to... Now we're live everywhere. We're live live everywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday, and we are back. What's going on here? Podcast. Yours truly, Shaheen, and my co-host. All right. Let's get rid of that. You still there? I'm still here. Hold on. All right. So, since we're a little bit behind on time, we're going to try to kind of skim through Raw, since it was bad anyway. So. Yeah, I got um, I got results going in about uh, two seconds here. Yeah. Well, we started out with uh, Seth Rollins coming out, I believe. And, well, no, John Cena came out. <laughs> and we had the fucking John Cena starting out the promo with, with the anonymous GM. What a perfect combination. Uh, oh. John Cena and a laptop. And the only thing good about this segment was the fact that he actually closed the laptop so we didn't hear that much of a you know, repetitive fucking email sound or whatever it is. Man, I hate that fucking sound. They kept, they kept doing it. I, I, think, I think they're just trying to troll the fans, to be honest with you. Because they have to know it's a bad gimmick. Because, you know, on on the Countdown show, which is on the network for nine ninety nine, they actually make a mockery of, of the whole angle. And I believe it was on, on one of the top top ten, you know, worst angles or, you know, whatever it was. Or, you know, worst GMs. And, uh, yeah, they made a mockery of it. And, and they basically said it was a fucking joke. And it was uh, had a terrible outcome. We got horn swoggle, so... I don't know, man. I, I hope it's not Sting. I, I just I hope they get rid of this soon. Just get rid of the whole GM thing. We don't need a general manager, for God's sake. We know who runs the fucking company. It's it's Vince and Triple H and Stephanie. We don't need these these gimmicky general managers, man. We've had it since since ninety seven. It's enough. It's 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 been played out. You know, Lucha Underground is doing it, that's fine. They haven't, you know, a real actor doing it, so it it, it comes off on t- on television, real professional, and it's right. something that that interests you. It's something different. We don't need to see another fucking horn swaggle gimmick. Uh, I just, I don't know, man. That's why I don't really want to talk about Raw. There's nothing really good that happened that I can, you know, say to you know uplift the show. You can sink your teeth into. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a very teeth sinking episode, but uh, no. I don't know. I mean, it, it 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 was what it was, and um, we'll just uh, we'll get through it as quick and pa- and painless as possible, hopefully. Yeah. Well, the, the the beginning, man, it was it was a bad, terrible promo. That's about it. You know, second we got the we got the tag team gauntlet, which I actually you know a lot of people shit on it, and I, I actually kind of liked it. I don't know about you. Um, it was all right. I was a little confused on some of the tag teams out there, but yeah, not bad. Um. Kid and Cesaro could actually make a pretty good tag team. Yeah, but I feel bad for Cesaro, man. You know, this is... I mean, uh, <laughs> he's he's on the same same level as Tyson Kid now. That's that's not good. Uh-oh, everyone's saying I am low. Let me find out why. Let me see. I may be able to There's turn you up on here also. Does it work now? Uh, say something. Something. Well, you're much louder in my ear. I think you're... Yeah, let me see what's going on here. If I can figure anything out. Everything's up to 100. You, uh, should, you should be fine, because... Let me do. Let me, let me check the settings here. I turned you up from, from my side also. But, uh... Yeah, man. I, I don't know. Tyson Kidd, uh, <laughs> he's got a good little gimmick going on. I enjoy it. I don't really have anything against him. Um, I like the fact that he's using Natalia as, as 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 a human shield, and you know he's he's doing old school heel moves and and just a little stuff. I, I like Tyson Kidd, but you know let's let's 
you know, like we said a couple weeks weeks ago, we spit facts. So let's spit a couple facts here. Tyson Kidd isn't isn't the best person to be in a tag team with. I, I really don't see much of a future uh, for Cesaro if, if 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 that's where he's going. Honestly, I I can see him just. You know, uh, when his uh, contract expires, I can see him going to New Japan or or, or somewhere else because his style in, in in New Japan, he could he could have some really good clashes with some, with some other folks over there. Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm not very big on the New Japan stuff. Um, by the way, I should be louder. I moved my audio inverter, so I must have bumped the volume. So that should be much louder, guys. Yeah, uh, you're, you're loud as hell in my ears. I I think you're loud enough. I'm sorry, man. God uh, damn. Yeah, I can see every time you, you're adjusting the old audio level right there. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. All right. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I just wish they'd stop calling the fucking guy Natty's husband. Yeah, I mean... I feel uh, bad for the guy. JBL, man. He was he was doing the same thing with uh, Eric Rowan, calling him the red guy. Oh, Big oh, Red. Oh, my big God. Red. They know how to drive something into the fucking ground or what? Yes, they do. I, I don't know why they do this to their own people. I it just I it just boggles my mind. I, I I don't understand it. Um, but as you know, let's let's talk about Cesaro for a minute. Um, of course, Vince McMahon was on Austin's podcast live on the network for nine ninety nine, and uh, <laughs> Cesaro came up because uh, if 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 you listen to Austin's podcast, obviously he's he's, he's a big fan of Cesaro. He believes that uh, you know, he deserves a push. He could be doing much more. He's a uh, phenomenal in the ring, and etc. And he brought him up to to Vince McMahon, and uh, yeah, Vince said he, he's he's lacking something, and that is charisma. He's not really connecting with the fans, which I kind of agree. With. I mean, you know, says, but but the thing that that Vince is is is, is missing is Cesaro was getting over because he's so good in the ring. It wasn't because, uh, you know, people were liking the whole, uh, you know, all the promos that he was cutting and, and all that stuff. I think I think he's fine. I think as long as they put him with somebody, a, a mouthpiece, and just let him uh, do what he has to do in the ring, I think I think he'll be over and he'll he'll be fine. I'm not saying he's going to main event WrestleMania, but you know, he he he, he can be one of the top guys. Yeah, and Vince's main excuse was, well, you know, he's Swiss. Maybe that's why the people don't like him. Well, he was saying, I guess, you know, maybe the language barrier or, I don't know. Uh, okay, that could be it. I don't know. <laughs> maybe the accent, which is which is kind of, tr- I mean, I don't know, man. I guess it's kind of true. If he has a Swiss accent, it's kind of hard to cut, like, these great promos. and. I don't know. I don't think his promos are that bad. <clears throat> I think they're a little corny, but that could be what's written for him, so I don't well, know. Of course it's written for him. Of course it is, so I don't know, man. I don't know, but I like the guy. I hope they wake up one day and realize that he can be a probably a big fucking asset to him, so Yeah. That's all we but, can hope. Uh, yeah, but uh this 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 gauntlet was uh was pretty decent. Nothing nothing spectacular, but No. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was a filler. Which honestly, this whole show was a filler except for the main event. What other matches did did we get that wasn't a filler? I don't think there was. That's I mean, it was, Jesus, man, what are you doing over there? I had I dropped something. I need a bottle oh. opener. I really need a bottle opener, and I can't find one. It sounds like you're you're banging something on the table. I, I I I may or may not have been trying to open a bottle on the edge of the desk. Oh, okay. Maybe I should use the computer so I don't mess up the desk. There you go, man. I'll try uh, to mess up the computer instead. <laughs> but the fucking Usos, of course, won. Which uh, oh. nah, whatever, man. I don't, I don't know, man. How do you? What do you? What are your thoughts on the Usos right now? I like the Usos. I really do. I I always have though. I, I thought I think they're a pretty good team, man. I like them. I don't know. I I I think they're good. I think they're they always have good matches. They're pretty exciting. I don't know. I don't understand the the hatred by, by a lot of people for them. Well, they are kind of corny. 
Well, I mean, WWE is kind of corny. The whole thing. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? Jesus, man. I'm getting a lot of background sound from you. This fucking I'm guy is killing I'm my ears tonight. I'm going to get a pair of pliers. <laughs> trying to open a bottle. I might have to take the next airplane to Texas, and we're going to have a live, live fucking wrestling match. <laughs> it's this better than the video wrestling match I once heard from from another show. <laughs> All right. All right. right. Talk for 30 seconds. I'm going to get a pair of pliers to open this fucking bottle with. All right. There you go. There you go. go. Right back. I will talk for 30 seconds. Okay. It's instead of uh, killing all our ears. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the gauntlet match was all right, man. I, I I expected the Usos to be the winners. Um, I like the whole thing that they're doing with uh, Miz Dow and, and fucking, uh, is it Miz Dow? Yeah, Miz Dow and the Miz. The, the whole thing with the Miz trying to give a, a business card to the uh, Naomi, is, is that her fucking name? Naomi, whatever the... Big yeah. booty girl. Naomi, yeah, there you go. Naomi, Naomi. yeah. I, I actually, I, I like that whole segment. I thought that was entertaining. As corny as it may have come off on TV, I really like the fact that they're uh, giving the Usos a, a bit of an edge. The guy came out for once he was pissed off. For once he's not fucking smiling and rapping and, 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 and tagging everybody and shit. For once he actually shows, shows some kind of emotion and anger, which which I like, so I'm I'm interested to see where this goes, and I'm guessing it's going to be the Usos against Miz Dow and the Miz at uh, TLC, which uh, mm-hmm. yeah, whatever. Sounds good to me. Uh, pliers worked, by, by the way. I, I I now have a open beer. I'm I'm good. There you go. I'm sorry, she. I'm a mess tonight, dude. I see, man. This guy's just banging shit everywhere. <laughs> oh, I forgot the head. Like I said, I forgot my headphones, and I had to go get some headphones. And while I was at Walgreens, I'm like, oh, look, this one has beer. Because not all the Walgreens have beer around here. So I said, I said yeah, hey, well, why, why, why not? So I, 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 I got a six-pack. There you go, man. That's crazy, man. We, uh, you know, in, in, in the state of Pennsylvania, they can't sell uh, beer. At, at gas stations or anything of that sort, so that, that's crazy. I, whenever I go to other states and I just see like alcohol and beer everywhere, it's just. It's, well, Florida, it was all over. I mean, you can go anywhere and get fucking alcohol, pretty much. But uh, here, there are still some dry counties. Matter of fact, where I where my land is out in Emory, just this year became not a dry county. Yeah, believe me, uh, Pennsylvania is as dry as it gets. Oh, you're 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 right in the you're on the fucking buckle of the Bible Belt, dude. There you go, man. Yeah, <laughs> I mean you're I the. <laughs> I'm in there. You are. I mean, I'm right there too. Don't don't get me wrong, but Texas is known for beer, so. Good old Texas. Yeah, Lone Star beer, made in Texas, more expensive than an import. What the fuck? Yeah, why is that? I don't know, man. It's expensive shit. Man. Anyway, I guess back to Raw. What else happened? Oh, yeah. We're trying to go through that quickly, weren't we? Yeah, I guess, yeah. What what happened after the gauntlet? After the gauntlet, uh, you just talked about Miz talking to Naomi. Um, Eric Rowan, big show. Right. Um, dude, uh, are they really trying to... Tell me this guy's a genius, and he was... What else did they say he was? He was a genius, and he was a winemaker? Yeah, I, um... The Wyatt guy? Vin... Vin... What did they call it? A vineyard? Oh, vineyard? I, I don't know, man. I, I just... I, I don't know what they called it either, but it was... What? Okay, okay. I'm going to say that if this show is really ga- geared toward children like they say it is. But is it? Is it really? I don't know. Just kids? That's like, all? That's, that's, their, that's their fucking target audience is just kids? Like, like wrapped into one segment, you can get like a, a, a kitty part, an adult part, especially a Cena promo is like that. You know, you get, oh, he's mad, and then a poopy joke, and then... <laughs> And then he's mad again, and 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 then you know, uh, ooh, you know, uh, some third grade comeback by Cena. But 
I don't know, man. It's who, I didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about. I was so happy he explained it because I was about to pick up my phone and type that word in Google. Yeah, dude. I just I, I don't know. I don't know that. I I don't fucking get it. I none of it makes sense to me. Did you see nothing? How, in, nothing on Raw made sense to me, dude. Nothing. Did you see how fast he solved that Rubik's cube? Were you not impressed? Did he? I yes. I didn't. Well, God bless him. God bless him. He, you know what? I don't know. Big red. Big red. Big red. Big red. Big red. Oh my God. He's actually he's 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 pretty agile. He's 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 pretty athletic for his size. I mean the the you know this what are they called the spin back heel kick. Is that what it's called? Uh, whatever. Spinning they back heel kick, whatever the fuck it's called. The Rob Van Dam move. The guy can do it. Um, he can he can get his legs pretty high. Uh, the guy's he's decent. I mean, he's he's getting better, obviously. Um, yeah. You remember when he debuted? I mean, we were talking about how terrible he was. Yeah. You know what? Being over with the crowd can kind of help that a little bit. Yeah, but not like this, man. I mean. No, he's guy, definitely. I mean, Reigns is over with the crowd, but he's really, you can tell how bad he is in the ring when he's in there. Definitely, I agree. But, yeah, Rowan, I, I'm I'm surprised those two got over so quick without Bray, but I'm glad they did. Yeah, but this, he needs to be a monster, man. <laughs> not a fucking winemaker. <laughs> not a genius. Oh, God, man. I mean, this guy was a Part of the fucking Wyatts, for God's sake! I don't. I mean, Are you trying to tell me he's a why? He was a winemaker. Like Bray Wyatt just, just found him just out of. I mean, I thought I, I, I don't know, man. Actually, let's skip over. I fuck this, man. <laughs> yeah, the Big Show came out. Fucking retire already, man. Nobody gives a shit about you. Retire, please retire already, man. Please, please. Folks, just just hashtag this shit to the WWE. Retire all these motherfuckers, man. Kane, Big Show, all these guys. Just go. Go. Nobody gives a shit, man. I'm so tired of it every week. Uh, I love how you... They have so many good people to fucking wrestle, and we still get Big Show, man. I mean, don't... Budget cuts? Isn't this a, isn't this a solution? Just let these fucking guys go? That you give half a million dollars to, or a million, I don't know what their, you know, salaries are, but I'm sure it's up there. I'm sure it is, too. Uh, man, you're on a tear tonight. Yeah, man, I just, I hate it raw. I mean, the main event was good, man. The rest of it was, was brutal. I, it was two and a half hours of, 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 of torture. Simply two and a half? Two and a half, yes. I mean, the last thirty minutes was all right. The, the main event, which actually got some time, which yeah. is uh, which I respect that because they gave us actual thirty minutes of wrestling. Which, you know, I guess I shouldn't say wrestling. That's a dirty word according uh, to Vince McMahon. Did like, you see him? Did you see him staring down Austin every time he, he said professional wrestling? Yeah, he did get a little pissy about it. Not, I don't know. I, I I didn't watch that interview, but I listened to a lot of it today. Some of it, I, I did listen to the uh, the other interview. We'll get into in a little bit. No, oh, you um, got to watch it, man. It was it was great. Honestly, it was probably the best best program uh, they they put on the network as far as you know being interesting. And and it, and it probably cost them fucking nothing. nothing. To, exactly. Where no. I think someone said this a while ago. Do you remember a couple guys talking about this about two months ago? Yeah, us. Oh, it was us. I'll be damned. Yeah. It's it's a good idea, man. I mean, make it a weekly thing and just bring people on on Austin's podcast and just. I mean, it, it just it's so simple and it's just it's interesting. It, it, you know, for Austin, it's it, it's it's beneficial for him because it gains viewers, and uh, yeah, it's it's good for both parties. I I don't really get it, but. I think they call that win-win. Yeah, there you go. That's it. So, yep. The uh, win-win situation. Yeah, in the business world, win-win. Yep. And you're right. They they barely have to spend any money. I mean, they... yeah. I mean, there's no way that costs much. With, I mean, first of all, he's got a podcast one, so figure they're picking up most of it anyway. Right. So it probably. I mean, I don't know. I I, I don't know. 
I, I figure, I don't know, I, I, de I definitely am going to watch this. I was actually planning on, on watching it tonight, but uh, between last night and today, I just couldn't do it. I had a busy-ass day today. I had to be down in Fort Worth all day, so. No, it's, it's, it's real good stuff, man. Yeah, but I did get to at least listen to the punk interview while driving to Fort Worth and back, so I've heard that. Yeah, we'll get into all that stuff. Oh, yeah, most definitely. We'll get into that shit. Yeah, but uh, what do we have next? Uh oh, oh. What is? Do you hear this sound? Are you on Facebook or is that me? I keep hearing this. Uh, I'm on, but not on this computer. It must be you. Uh, all right. Yeah. Um, we had a little. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we had a little. Fandango versus Jack Swagger, which didn't actually happen. Yeah, I mean, do we need to talk about it, man? Jesus Christ. Fuck, we got fucking Fandango against Jack Swagger. I mean, this is, this is, this should be on Saturday Morning Slam. Does it exist <laughs> still? That video's over, dude. It's not even on. <laughs> Whatever. They, that's, you know, same, same caliber match. Uh, we're, on, we're on that show. Man. I mean, it's, come on. Yeah, I, I don't, I, but yeah, but th then they show this backstage segment with Zeb down on the ground and Swagger trying to show concern, but he's like, who did this? What has happened to you? Yeah, with, with the list. It's like, yeah, who did this? Right. What happened to you? All right. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it, it was a horrible segment, and um, I Rosa looks like a man. Um, anyway, um, I'm I'm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And on to Lana and Rusev, who come down. I mean, what, do you, what the fuck can I say about it? It's, it's Fandango against Jack Swagger, for God's sake. I mean, like, come on, man. I was trying to find a way to get out of that because I was drowning in just, God, this, it's so bad. It's not even worth talking about, man. <laughs> anyway, you're right. Rusev, you know, feuding with Jack Swagger again. Why? I don't know. <laughs> because they fucked it up the first time, I guess. I, I'm not a fan of Swagger. Um, I don't really know why he's so over it. I guess it's because of the whole America gimmick. I mean, I anybody anybody can get that over. It's uh, you know, is I see this gimmick, this whole feud being rehashed again. Why instead of taking a couple steps forward, does WWE have to take a bunch of steps back? Fucking anonymous GM, this again. I, 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 I'm, I, oh my god. You know Cena and Brock are having another match soon. Because they're lost. Well, I'm They're getting... lost. They, they're, they're paying 30 writers and they can't come up with shit. Eh, that's not bad. What's not uh, bad? Because what I saw was pretty fucking bad. I, I... It was pretty bad. You're right. I, I don't know, man. It's just, it's, it's, Dude, honestly, it, look at the match list. It's all filler. Everything is filler. Just everything. Yeah. You honestly could have missed the whole first two hours, and, and you wouldn't have missed anything. The first two and a half hours, for that matter. Pretty much, like you said, yeah. Not, and not the, the main event wasn't much anyway, so I mean, you, you honestly could have just missed the whole show. And, and, and you can bet your ass that you can miss SmackDown, so, uh, yeah. I actually watched SmackDown last week. I actually, I've, I've heard people raving about it, saying that uh, there's much more better wrestling, you know, quote-unquote wrestling, on, on, on SmackDown than, uh, than Raw. Um, unfriend those people right now. <laughs> because they're insane. Um... I watched. Well, I, I heard they have longer matches, and no, not really. I don't know. I watched it for two things. I wanted to see uh, Nikki Bella's uh, promo that that people were raving about, 
that was heavily cut, by the way. You could they they said it was heavily edited, and I wanted to see uh, I wanted to see the new day. Yeah. Um, speaking of Nikki, I actually I I read the actual uncut promo that she said, and uh, mm-hmm. basically she was saying that AJ Lee is not concerned about the kids, about her fans, and Nikki is actually you know emotionally attached to all these little girls that come and you know, adore her and, and her sister and, you know, AJ Lee is just a, you know, spoiled brat or whatever and everybody's heard her sob story. She's always going to be this, uh, I forgot what she said, um, you know, some, some miserable girl from New Jersey or something like that, which, you know, makes me think that there is a little bit of shooting going on in there. I, I don't know about you. I don't know. It was actually... If you saw the promo, it was actually good. I hate to say that it was a Nikki Bella promo, but it was good. I, I it, it definitely was. And I read the, uh, I actually read it after I saw it, so that might have been better. Well, if if it wasn't a shoot, why would it be uh, heavily edited? On SmackDown, time. Yeah, but you would think uh, they can, you know, cut down one of the. Tyson Kidd against Fandango matches or you know, whatever else they had on the show. I think Fandango was on the show. I, I don't know. Literally after the New Day came out, I, I deleted it from my DVR. Yeah. Well, before before we get into the New Day, which, yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah we're, we're, we'll get into it. Let's not right. let's not jump yet. Please, please enlighten me on how Fandango has. Uh, Basically, what is his new gimmick? How has he improved? Oh, dude, I got this. Um, wait. Um, he 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 wears a black shirt now. Um, and he's Spanish. Is he Spanish now? Yes, he's now doing flamenco or salsa or man, I could yeah. go for chips and salsa. Yeah. I oh, man, he's well, really hungry. Well, let's let's end the show and uh. <laughs> man, let's get some fucking chips and salsa, man. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> oh, but fucking Fandango. I mean, uh, I guess I he's, he's, a, he's a Spaniard or, or a Mexican now. I I I I really don't get it. All these uh really stereotypical gimmicks. And and can we talk about this? Everybody is 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 you know, claiming that WWE is racist and and and. This and that. Before I, I I state my opinion, I want to I want to hear where you stand on on this on this. Is WWE racist when you take in consideration uh, you know gimmicks like fucking and and what I'm just talking about now. Of course, back in the day they had they had a bunch of you know just off the wall gimmicks that that really just boggles my mind. But whatever. I'm talking about now. Los Matadores. I mean, stereotypical Mexican Spanish gimmick. Uh, you know. I really don't know why they're doing it in 2014. This is a gimmick from 92, but whatever. Then you've got this New Day, and it's just a bunch of black preachers that are coming out and doing what? I'm, I'm not quite sure because they didn't cut a promo. They didn't really do much. They just danced around and kind of tried to get over a chant, which really didn't work, and it was really awkward. But where do you stand on this whole, you know, uh, racism issue in, in, in the WWE? Uh, like I said, I think it's more a stereotypical than racist. I mean... What is, what is the difference, really? Well, if they were racist, they just wouldn't push them at all. Well, no, no. They, they could... I, well, I'm sure they're not doing this, but... They could they could very well be racist and and push somebody because they could be pushing them with a terrible gimmick, just just for you know pure entertainment for for their own purpose. They oh, could well, be racist like that. I mean, I mean, I definitely think Vince finds this gimmick great. I mean, he, he debuted it on Black Friday for God's sake. What do you think, man? Hey, what the fuck? How horrible was that? He debuted three black preachers on Black Friday. I like the memo I posted to see what I did there. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, even Big E, you know, he, he found it humorous on, on Twitter. I think he made mention of it. He did. He yeah. did. He did. So, 
really awkward in this role, if if you ask me. Yeah, I think they're trying way too hard, and it's it's coming. It's really awkward. Cause, yeah, uh, weird. yeah, when you see these three guys just come out there and dance and clap, and no one's really doing it, eh, it's 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 questionable. I I don't really see this going anywhere. But um, I, then again, if they if they turn them heel, then we're talking a whole different thing. Cause then you can add depth to it. I mean, if they're just faces, what are they really? You know, if 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 you have them as heels, they can start preaching and and sending the wrong message and, and kind of be edgy with it and and you know be subliminal. They can do they can they can do a bunch of different stuff with it. I just I don't know. Maybe add somebody like R Truth. I think that would be better because you know as 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 a mouthpiece, I think he'd be better than uh, Big E or you know whoever else is going to be talking for them. Yeah, I, I well, it looks like it, Woods is going to be the talker of the group. Oh, great! What it I mean, looks- he is, then, then again, look, this, this is this is what I was talking about as as far as you know, being, WWE being stereotypical. This guy's a, a, a fucking doctor. This guy's about to be a doctor, mm-hmm. and he's out there acting as a fucking you know as an idiot basically on on, on television. I mean, is I don't know. If I was him, honestly, I'd probably just leave. <laughs> like, you know what, man? I, I don't need this shit. I, I don't need to come out here and, and dance around like a moron just so a couple guys in the back can, can get a fucking laugh out of it and I can get a you a know $100,000 check every year or whatever, man. I, you know, he, he, can, he can make the same money, I'm sure, you know, yeah. with his own practice. Yeah, so Vince and Kevin Dunn can sit there and laugh at it in Gorilla. Right. Yeah. Right. They'll be doing fart jokes in, in in a couple months, and yeah, that's about it. More vomiting. There you go. Puke. Puke. He's gonna. He's gonna. Oh, hey. <laughs> there you go, man. That was a classic <laughs> piece of audio. There you but, go. But uh, yeah. I mean, we wanted to skim through raw, but we've already been talking about it for like an hour. Oh, dude, there's no, not that long, have we? No, we didn't uh, even we didn't do like 40 minutes or something. Like, I don't know. You've got the time, I don't. Yeah, but um, anyway, I guess next segment. Uh, Mizdo, Fernando. Speaking of Los Matadores. I mean, come on, dude. Are we? We can't talk about this. All right, then I'll tell dude, you what. Eric, can we make a? Can we make a rule? Oh God. On the THT podcast. If there is a fucking solo match with one of the Matadores, we're not going to talk about it. It's not worth it. Okay, so let's talk about what happened after the match. All right, that's fine. But right. What happened after the match? Jimmy Uso came down looking like he was about to kill a motherfucker and slapped the shit out of Miz. Yeah. And said, stay away from my wife. Yeah. I, I kind of touched base on this earlier, but uh, you did. Yeah, I, I I like him, and I think it adds, again it adds depth to their characters. Uh, I think the Usos that's that's kind of what they're lacking is uh they, they don't, it's just we don't know anything about them. They're just Rikishi's sons, and they come out rapping, and they're really good in the ring. I mean, their moves are repetitive, but then again, wrestling is you know that's what it is. Um, and I think. In this generation, we complain so much about it, but then again, if you if you look at matches from the 90s and 80s, it's the same shit. The guys, everybody has five, six moves that they repeat. It's the same shit, unless unless you're going to the independents and you're watching, you know, PWG or ROH where they just do high spots and they do 40,000 different moves in, in, in 20 minutes, and that's that's different. But uh, as far as WWE, this has always been the formula. But uh, yeah, I think I think it adds depth to their characters. I think it's 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 yeah, it's 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 a good move. Yeah, I, I think it's good, and obviously one of the best parts was when the camera came back. Mizdow was sitting down there, with, with oh yeah, just got slapped too. It was great, but um, so we're supposed to acknowledge certain boyfriend, girlfriend, and marriages on Total Divas, but not not others. Is that what we're supposed to do? I guess so. That's what CM Punk was doing on uh, Cabana's podcast, also. Well, I mean, it kind of. I mean, like, and Cena. I don't think they're ever going to cross paths. I hope not. But it's just weird how suddenly they decided to bring these two 
together like this. But anyway, I'm sure they love doing a storyline together, so good for them. Let's just go ahead and go on from there. But yeah, Mizdale on the ground was probably the best part of that segment. Right. New E is great, man. I, I love Mizdale. Yeah, I do too, man. He's definitely uh, way over. Definitely, yeah. I mean... The fucking bull still stole the fucking belt. Yeah, I, I try to forget about that. Yeah, let's just go on. Yeah, what, please, please. What, what's next? I don't fucking know. What oh. is next? <laughs> um, Bray and uh, our truth out of nowhere filler match. Which actually, honestly, this this match was great. I liked it. It wasn't a bad match. I think I think our truth is uh he was actually pretty decent again for for a while he was kind of stale but uh this this was a good match honestly it was it was a squash match pretty much but I oh. I also liked his as a uh, promo the Jacob's ladder references and and all that but I think at the same time Bray Wyatt he has to he has to dumb it down a little bit because I think a, a lot of it gets lost in translation when it when it goes to you know to to, yeah. to the, the normal people in in, in the crowd. Yeah, he's talking over some of the fans' heads. Definitely. Yeah, I, I don't think everybody gets the references and everything else, but I, I liked it. I mean, uh, I don't really know what they're doing with Bray, but, man, <laughs> hopefully he's not going to be losing again, man. I mean, this guy's been losing his, his, his whole career pretty much, except for the match with Brian. Other than that, it's all losses. Yeah, it's uh... the Cena effect. <laughs> seems to be. Um, it seems to be. Uh, I don't know. How long have I been bitching and complaining tonight? It's like 40 minutes already? It's like 40 minutes of straight complaining. Not long enough. Keep this, going. This is what you get for, for uh, having a terrible fucking episode of Raw. Yeah, don't, don't, you know, it's not my fault. I didn't do a shit. Big show, man. God damn it. Oh. All right, man. Next, please. Next yeah. segment. I want to talk about no, no big show, big show. Oh. God damn you! You was crying like a pussy. Go you fuck. Was crying like a pussy. Crying like a pussy. Crying like a pussy. <laughs> fuck big you, show. Man, did you see that, that that spot that he kind of? I guess he didn't really botch it. It was more of an accident. But uh, when he when he dropped the steps and it hit Rowan yeah. in the head. Yeah, he came out at the end. We'll we'll get into that in a minute with a big fucking knot on his. Oh head. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That big show, you big asshole. You big doofus. You, you big douchebag. You big dummy. You've been wrestling for twenty years, you son of a bitch. You don't even know how to throw steps yet. Yeah, I it it, it was just a, it, it they just fell weird when he let go of them. Yeah, right. it, it, I that I don't whatever. Anyway. Um, at least Rowan wasn't crying like a pussy. No, Rowan wasn't crying at all. He he grabbed his head a few times, but uh, I don't blame him. That looked like it fucking hurt. No, oh, I'm sure. And it got him up on the. If you looked, it got him up on the top of his head and right behind his ear too. Yeah, you just better be careful so it doesn't get infected. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bad <laughs> spot to get infected. Yeah, watch. <laughs> give him a Z pack, man. Just give him a fucking Z pack. Just. Give him a quick, you know, quick, quick once over for a concussion impact test and uh, quick Z pack. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do you think? Do you think Z packs are the solution to everything in, in wrestling? I got a feeling there's an abundance of them going around. Yeah. Other Z packs. Is is that the new thing? In the, back in the day, was like somas and and fucking cocaine and and steroids and all this crazy shit and ring rats and. Now it's like video games and 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 Z packs and fucking comic books. Is that what's going on in wrestling in, in, in the locker room nowadays? Yes, yeah, exactly. What's going on. Yeah, I thought I lost you for a second. Ah, uh, just for a second. I'm fine. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Z packs. So yeah, there you go. I don't get it, man. But uh, what am I gonna do, right? Right. I don't know. Z packs fucking awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Who got next on the on the on the list of matches? Uh after Ambrose broke Bray, uh Bray Wyatt's rocking chair. Um 
AJ Lee and Naomi defeated the Bella Twins? Yeah. That happened. And then Paul Heyman showed up via satellite. <laughs> Which was probably like the best part of the show. Which was great. <laughs> that little that little promo he cut was just oh, man. shit. That was awesome. I mean, honestly, it I was kind of I shouldn't say I was because I still am kind of disappointed in how the WWE's not willing to pay the guy a little bit more for a couple more appearances. I mean, you know, the guy's the champion, man. I haven't seen. I forgot what the belt looks like. You remember <laughs> what it looks like? Um, I haven't seen that fucking thing for three months. It says WWE on it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it does actually. I think it's, I, I think it's still it's the W. It's just the logo. Yeah, you're right. It's just kind of a big network logo. Yeah, but uh, Paul Heyman, I mean, you know, he did his job. He definitely great promo as always. Really interesting guy, man. I mean, I, I don't get it. Have this guy on TV every week speaking on on on, on uh, Brock Lesnar's behalf. I, I don't get it. The guy's under contract. You're paying him. Uh, he used to come out every week, so clearly he doesn't have a problem with the travels and, and anything else. Use him. If you're not going to use him on Raw, use him on the network. Do something with him. Yeah, I'm with you, 100%. He's a good uh, talker. I don't know if it's that they don't want to pay Brock, or Brock just doesn't want to do more dates. No, I'm sure. I'm sure he'll do more dates. Brock is a businessman, man. He's 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 about money. Yeah, money talks, man. If 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 they throw a, a, a nice number at him, he's 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 gonna take it. Because I had read he was already like they had him locked up for a bunch more dates, and I haven't seen him. Or honestly, if if this was the big plan, then they should have saved some of those dates for now. Um, he didn't he didn't need to come and attack fucking Mark Henry three times, like, a couple months ago. They could have saved all that for now. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And I'm not, uh... Am I crazy, or did they have a you-must-defend-the-title-within-30-days rule? Oh, that's back in the day, man. It's a... They don't go by rules. Uh, they used it right when they took the belt off of Brian. Yeah, but we're supposed to forget by that. Forget that by now. Oh, just like we're supposed to forget that Hornswoggle already was the general manager. Yeah, what? of course. Oh, okay. Was he? Oh, yeah. I, I forgot about it already. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Maybe they're not aiming for kids. Maybe maybe they're aiming for potheads. Or just morons. Just people who forget everything. Just absolute fucking idiots. Just that's that's honestly what. They think we are as just absolute fucking idiots, just illiterate <laughs> bastards. We just don't understand anything. We forget everything in, in, in a week span, and it, that's honestly that's you know who they think their their consumers are, and uh, it's kind of sad. But uh, then again, when you go to some of these conventions, that you're like, ah, I understand why they stereotype. I get it. <laughs> oh, I ain't no no offense. No. Yeah, you yawning? this guy's fucking yawning. <laughs> this motherfucker's yawning on on air. <laughs> McMahon, Vince McMahon would have shot you right now. He probably would have. He would have been so pissed. I think that's like one of his pet peeves is like, you no, know, sh- yawning or coughing on air. Sneezing, sneezing is his is his. Pet. What did he say? He said uh like uh Jay Leno or or I don't know somebody. Who was it? Was it uh? I heard it on JR's show, I think. Maybe it was Larry King. Maybe he said, uh, yeah, Larry King would never sneeze on air. Or Jay Leno, or I don't know, somebody. But, yeah. Yeah. What a, what a crazy be, man. Be glad you're not working for the WWE, because uh, you would have been fired right now. Vince uh, would have been, you would have been going nuts right now. I'd probably, I'd probably want to get fired at this point. <laughs> well... Hey, this shit sucks anyway. I'm out of here. I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go join the Talking Dead with Punk. You fucks. Honestly, if 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 I ever got a job with the WWE, eh, I'd probably stop watching wrestling. Just just to save my job, because I just would know better. 
Yeah. I would honestly just take it as a business, like, all right, I'm here to make uh, six figures, and it's worth sacrificing not watching this crap. I mean, it's probably not going to be good, so let me just make my money, and I can uh, watch, like, fucking uh, ECW or, or old shit on the network. <laughs> good night. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Just watch old shit. There you go. Yeah, WWE, give me a job, and you'll lose a viewer. <laughs> You go. I don't. I don't know if that's good promotion for myself, but uh, fuck that's it. good incentive, man. I like that. Yeah, there you go, man. I like it. Good incentive. Just, Thank uh, you, sir. Next on, what do we have? Next is. This is our main event of the evening. Woo! That's right, buddy. Woo! We got. We. we <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> The main event. Woo! We got John Cena. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Exciting! How exciting is that? Woo! Oh God. John Cena. C Nation, man. I'm a part of that. Yeah. yeah. It's exciting. Did you see how many grown grown men were wearing C Nation shirts? Dude, like I seen it. Oh my god, man! This was some last funny. night. I couldn't. Where believe are it. you from? Where are these people from? I don't what know. What happened to you as a child? Where were they last night? You know, honestly, uh, you know, most podcasts and all uh, all these shows, they go. Oh, I understand why they do it, man. I personally, I don't give a shit. Everybody says, "Yeah, I respect your opinion." Uh, you know, you, you like who you like. If you like Cena, I'm sorry. If you like Cena, dude, I don't fucking get it. I don't get it. I don't understand you. Um, and there's a difference between being neutral on him. <laughs> Look, we just lost some viewers. I saw it. In <laughs> <laughs> God damn. More oh, fucking Cena. Oh, Cena Nation. Oh, you son of a bitch. You know, you know he's a good guy. Oh. You just make a wish. Oh. <laughs> oh, and we lost another one. Oh, he's crying like a pussy. <laughs> All right. Whatever, man. I don't give a shit. Anyway, yeah. I don't get it. I'm sorry, I don't get it. You know, in fact, I'm not sorry. I just don't get it. So, where are you people from? I don't know. I don't get it. How are you 32, 33, wearing John Cena shirts? Oh, shit. That was funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All righty then. Yeah. All okay. right. All right. <laughs> there you go, man. Main event, Dolph Ziggler. Uh, people must be tired of you talking about poor Cena. I I'm tired of seeing Cena. I know, man. I am too. Give me I, less of Cena, and you're, you you won't hear me talking about this guy. Oh god! It started out with this guy, and it's ending with this guy every fucking week. So, sorry, you're gonna have to hear me start the show and end the show with with Cena. <laughs> okay. What it yeah. is? We. The <laughs> the main event was It's kinda what what the deal is every week. Sorry folks. I Playing know. the WWE, it's not my fault. They booked this shit. Oh god. The, the main event was Dolph Ziggler, John Cena, and Ryback. Woohoo! There's Kane, Luke Harper, and Seth Rollins. Kane and, and, and Cena. If you would just take those two fucking guys out of out of the whole you know, image, I'd be much, much happier. I just take them out. Yeah. Take them out of the division, I'll be happy. I, yeah, I agree. But, uh, you know, to be on the, on the, on the positive side, I'll, I'll make one positive comment about this whole show, Ooh. and that's that uh, I'm, I'm really happy with, with the fact that this is the third week that Dolph Ziggler is, 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 is main eventing. Guys like Dolph Ziggler... Luke Harper, Ryback, these guys getting a push in the main event scene. I like that, so I give that a thumbs up. I'm not, you know, uh, I call it like I see it. But uh, yeah, the rest of the show was shit. <laughs> awesome. Yep. <laughs> Great main event. Rest of the show, shit. Very good. Very good. So that was raw. Well, we didn't even talk about the match. Oh yeah. Do you want to talk about it? You want to? I mean, it was it was a good match. I really enjoyed it. I, you know, Luke Harper is, is is awesome. Ziggler is awesome. I think Ryback was 
pretty decent. I mean, I think he actually went in there, you know, being being more careful just because of uh, the, the CM Punk comments. He was like, you know what, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to be nice, crisp, and clean with all my maneuvers, and uh, I'm going to prove this guy wrong. And I thought he was decent in there. I, I didn't really see any botches. Um, yeah. And that thing on Kane's back, man, he should probably get that checked out after hearing uh, the whole deal with CM Punk. Yeah, that might be a staph infection. Yeah, get that shit checked out, dude. I don't think you should be wrestling at 53 with a fucking, you know, golf ball size. And, uh, I don't know if it's a fucking fatty thing or if it's a staph infection. You need to get that checked out. Yeah, I would, especially after hearing what I heard the other day. Yeah. Today. Well, uh, yeah, that was raw, man. It was a good main event. Um, I missed the end the last couple of minutes. I'm not really sure if anything happened. Did anything happen in the last... Uh, Last couple of minutes. That was interesting. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? You forgot? I forgot. So fuck it. I did, man. I I really forgot. I I don't even really remember how it ended. Yeah. Well, let's let's talk about uh, some news and stuff, and then we're gonna get into uh, probably what uh, everybody's been waiting for: the CM Punk discussion and and, and the Vince and uh, Vince and Austin discussion. So uh, as far as news, there's a couple things that I want to talk about, and. That is Scott Hall. Yeah. Have you heard about... Do you, do you know what I'm referring to? I do, actually, but go All for right. it. All right. Well, Scott Hall um, just clearly just, just exposed his son and just just demolished his, his, his fucking... You know, this, this, I just... I, I thought he took it too far, man. Well, apparently what happened is Scott Hall's son took Scott Hall's uh, debit or credit card and and use it to pay for, to to pay for some bills without you know uh, letting his father know. So Scott Hall went ahead and 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 went on Twitter saying that you can't trust anybody because my own son uh, I think what's his name? What's his son's name? Cody. Cody. Yeah, because my son Cody Hall has stolen over $1000 from me this month. So I I thought this was really Shitty of 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 both both people. I mean, if you need if you need to borrow money, just I uh, just say ask. But then again, you know Scott Hall just 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 airing out the dirty laundry on 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 Twitter at that. I mean, it's your son, dude. You you are a fucking professional wrestler, meaning that you probably missed eighty percent of this kid's life. Mm-hmm. The least you could do is 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 support him financially. I mean. He's chasing his dream. You were a wrestler, so you know how it feels. You know the business has changed, so you know it's not it's not like he can just 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 get in there and and you know let's let's face facts. I mean Scott Hall, he doesn't have the greatest image with the WWE, so you know I I, I wouldn't be surprised if you know that kind of they kind of raise an eyebrow when it comes to, to to Cody Hall just because his dad is Scott Hall, and uh, you know for all those reasons you, you kind of owe the kid. So the least you can do is is just kind of bite your lip and 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 let him borrow some money or, you know, or if you're pissed off, call the guy. I mean, you go on Twitter. Yeah, it was kind of shitty to go on Twitter and. Kind of, and it was really shitty. Yeah, it was. But. Was. Yeah, I, w- I wanted to I wanted to talk about that for a second. But uh, anything else do we, that we have on the news? Do you have any news? Um. Let's see here. What do we have? Well, while, while you find while you find news, let me let me talk about this for a second. Also, mm-hmm. um, the the backstage segment with uh, Vince McMahon coming out, and I guess there was two uh, independent wrestlers in, in, in the background that were dressed uh, similar to like kind of like luchas with like the you know Mexican gimmick and the fedoras and all that stuff. And I can't help but to think that they might be. Uh, Kind of subliminally shitting on 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 Lucha Underground. What do you think about that? That wouldn't be nice. Maybe though, because they do have a mini. But that motherfucker's badass. Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't. I don't know. That caught my eye. I thought. I thought there might be something to that. Because it, it didn't really make sense for them to be there. I mean, what was the point? I don't know, man. I don't know what was what the point was. It looked pretty. I I was wondering the same thing. Yeah. But uh, I just thought I'd mention that. Well, good. Yeah. There you yeah. go. I mentioned it. There you go. 
Um, something we haven't talked about in a couple of weeks, a little TNA. Um, oh, God. Josh Matthews, former WWE. Well, we talked about this last week. We did? Yeah. Well, this it gives a reason this week on why they're doing it. It's because they have to pay for TNA to do everything. <laughs> right. They yeah. got to fly the guy in for everything. So, hey, it's cheaper. I didn't think we did talk about this last week, but we did. I think so, yeah. Ah, what the hell. If we did, we did. If we didn't, we didn't. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not really excited about Josh Matthews coming in. I mean, him and yeah. Taz, that's... Uh, that's yeah, I don't like it either, but I understand if they're going to do it for a monetary reason just to save some money right now. But um, I don't know. Maybe those two will be better together. I don't know. Taz just doesn't seem to give a shit with... Tanae, so maybe he'll give a shit with Taz. Doesn't, Taz doesn't give a shit with anybody. Taz is just... Taz is just Taz, man. Taz is Taz. At least he says something funny here and there, like I said. I don't know. It's whatever I, it is. I beg to differ. I just... I don't... I don't know. I, I don't think I... I don't think Taz has got a single laughter out of me. Taz usually gets one or two out of me. I don't know, man. That guy fucking sucks in my eyes. <laughs> okay, terrible. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Especially when you compare him to what he used to be. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, I know, I know, because I I, li- I really liked him back in uh, ECW, the original ECW. Yeah, I mean, he he was he was legitimately you know terrifying. He's Nowadays, bad. you look you look at this guy, you're just like ah, what a price. Bad. Jesus. Kick him in the fucking yam bag. Do you think he's going to be in the Hall of Fame? Like the WWE Hall of Fame? I don't know about that. I don't think he's ever done anything. I don't know. I, you know what? Never say never, obviously, but... Yeah, I think he will, man. In like 20 years when they run out of guys. Yeah, if they run out of guys, maybe he can, but... Nah, he'll, he'll be in there. Yeah, I don't see him being someone they're going to be clamoring to get. But yeah. You know, maybe if, you know, God, I can't even think of anyone bad that they could just, that would say no. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if Boogeyman says no one year, they can go to Taz. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe when Simon Dean says no. Maybe if, there you go, Simon Dean or. Blue Meanie uh, says no. Hornswoggle. Yeah, Blue Meanie. Maybe when, uh. Stevie Richards, maybe. Yeah, maybe when the Los Matadores say no. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, you're digging now. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. Jack Swagger says no. Jack Swagger. Yeah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that that speech? That's gonna be a beautiful audio piece right there. Can you imagine the microphone afterwards? Jesus. Oh yeah, it's gonna be drenched. Jesus, just. <laughs> Picks it up and it's just short now. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Sounds like a bug zapper when you pick it up. Jesus. <laughs> disgusting image. What the fuck are we talking about? I have no idea. This it would is, happen this is, yeah, this is the after effect of Raw. This is what... <laughs> I'm, I'm still recovering from last night. Jesus. Oh, shit. You funny. guys are lucky we don't, we don't go live right after the show. That's what I used to do on YouTube. I mean, Jesus, man. I would probably be breaking my laptop every week. I've told you I'll drive down here if you want me to. I don't care. I'll do it. Man, I... Jesus. I don't know, man. <laughs> going going, going uh, live after all, it's going uh, to be reckless. Yeah, it might be. It's going to be some reckless audio. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll try for for one week if if people like it. I think it'd be a uh, much more of an organic reaction since it's, you know it just happened. But, uh, yeah. but then uh, what we'll do on Tuesdays? Ah, oh, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, we could just move it to Mondays. Doesn't matter. Who gives nah. a shit? Who gives a shit? We'll figure it out. Anyway, um, <laughs> anything else you want to talk about before we get into punk? There wasn't that much news. Most of the news is people reacting to the punk thing. Right. I mean, Chris Jericho came out and 
made a little video saying that he never asked Punk to uh, appear on his show, as far as, far as uh, you know, the, the 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 reason being, you know, his 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 departure from from the company or whatever. He said that he wanted him on the show, you know, in relation to other topics, and he always turned it down. And he texted him a few times, and he wasn't even talking about wrestling, and he never got a reply. So. I don't really know. I'm, I'm guessing Chris Jericho is probably going to talk about him on, on Wednesday. So, you know, that should be interesting. We'll probably talk about that next week. Yeah, probably. But uh, yeah, CM Punk audio. You got a uh, CM Punk. Basically, uh, he didn't he didn't want to call it a shoot interview, but that's pretty much what we got. Yeah. Um, on the art of wrestling, Cole Cabana, good man. Uh, I'm glad he actually saved. This his, his his side of the story for for uh, Cole Cabana because he's getting a lot of exposure, man, and I think he deserves it. I mean, the guy's a, a good fucking guy. I've met him a couple times. Good guy. I'm happy for him. I, I I hope maybe one day he can do something with with the podcast more and and you know make a living off of it. I would say maybe the WWE could get it on the network, but I doubt that's gonna happen now. <laughs> this guy's you know he's completely been blackballed now. I would, uh, that's for sure. He's, he's never going to the WWE again. I guarantee you that. Mm-mm. No, I think he's stuck. Um, yeah, I, he might have screwed himself. But you know what, dude? I, I, I got to say, if if what all of Punk says is true, and I'm I'm saying I'm I'm preferencing with if what he says is true for a reason. Um, we're 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 spitting facts. Oh I, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Facts. Um, facts. Right. If what he says is true, man, that's got to be a shitty place to work, dude. Well, honestly, I, I honestly, he sounded really sincere. I, I pretty much take his word as as as, as fact, man. I mean, the guy sounded really sincere. Um, or if if he's twisting, you know, the situation around, I really think what he says, he thinks. Is 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 the truth? I don't really think he was he was lying. The only thing that really caught my eye as far as him lying or exaggerating is him saying that you know he didn't care if he was in the main event for five minutes and he had to lay down for a guy. Dude, get the fuck out of here! You're not. This is CM Punk. This is the same guy that you know he he wouldn't do this and that. You're not. You can't tell me that you would go in a in a three way dance and you'd be the first guy to lay down in five minutes. Are you there? I, I, some of what he said sounded a little exaggerated. Some of what he said sounded very... Some of what he said just kind of, you know, kind of, yeah, things that people have been talking about for a long time, it just kind of solidified them. So, I don't know. But, yeah, I, he, he did come off a little bitchy at times. Some some stuff like that, he did come off kind of bitchy, you know, stuff about the matches and I had to lay down for this one and then this guy who's not going to be there tomorrow. Oh, honestly, I know. I, I agree with him. I completely agree with him. I, I don't think he came off bitchy at all. I think he actually made some really valid points and I think I, I completely agree with him. The only thing that I don't agree with is, is him laying down for The Rock. The Rock... That's a reason to lay down for the guy because he's he's good for business. No pun intended or pun intended. Who gives a shit? He's good for business, man. I mean, the guy is making you more money by you laying down for the guy. It's it's a good business move. The other guys, I don't really know. Brock Lesnar, I get what he means. You know, Undertaker. You know, I'm sure he didn't have a problem laying down for Undertaker, but it's just, you know, his his whole point was it, it was like a chain reaction. Once I did it for The Rock, I had to do it for the Undertaker. Now it's Lesnar. Next one would have been somebody else, and it's just you know, loss after loss. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I agree with him, man. I I really, I I feel his pain. I understand what he was saying. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you had to say. Just good for him. <laughs> good for him. Good I don't know. Th- th- he. I mean, there was a lot in that interview, man. To just kind of recall, and I mean, uh, oh, but that stuff about there was a lot of stuff that just, you know, I mean, let's let's touch base on the on, on the main points. One was was let's talk about this the staff infection. Oh, now you know 
I mentioned this to you about two weeks ago, and how ironic is this? I told you I had MRSA two weeks ago, right? Or three yeah. weeks ago, was it? Now, this is the second time that I, I got uh, diagnosed with uh, MRSA. And I, I can I can co-sign on this, man. It is the worst fucking pain in the world. So, And I, I caught mine about a week or two in it. So I, I can't imagine this guy you know, letting the damn thing go for three months and, and having it turn purple and green and all this shit up. But yeah, when they when they uh, drained my fingers, because uh, I, I had MRSA on my finger, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it was a staph infection, man. It's it's it's, it's tough. Uh, I mean, taking bumps on your back and you got the staph infection on your back, and you're telling the doctor cut this fucking thing out, and he says he just refuses. The guy says no. Honestly, what kind of doctor who operates like that? Who is this doctor, man? Who is this fucking guy? Doctor Zipak. Well, fuck that guy, man. <laughs> Fuck Dr. z -Pack. Fuck Dr. z -Pack, man. This guy's got a staph infection. For people that don't know, staph infections can kill you. Mm -hmm. If that shit gets in your bloodstream and your system, dude, you're dying. Your dead. organs aren't going to give out. You're chalked. By chalked, I mean chalk around your body. You're dead. Done. Finito. Finished. Rest in peace. Fucked. Do you get a WWE? I mean, you guys are a fucking corporate company. How do you not? How do they take this stuff not serious? I just, I, I don't get it. Maybe they were trying to kill CM Punk. Dun, dun, dun. There you go, man. The conspiracy theories. There it is. I like it. Let's do it. Let them start. Right. You know who? Uh, you know who would solve that crime? Vince Russo. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say Vince Russo. Vince, but, uh, oh my God, that'd be even better. Vince Russo meets Scooby Doo. Oh my God, awesome. the dialogue, Russo, bro, going Scooby, bro, bro. Oh my God, bro, bro. Fucking Vince Russo sounds like Vinnie Barbarino half the time. Bro, it's all he says is bro. Did you happen to hear the Artie Reynolds? Uh, um, I think Norman posted it on our uh, Facebook page. Yeah, I, I didn't listen to it. Dude, he goes off on R.D. Reynolds a lot. Yeah, I got I got to listen to that. You should listen to it, man. He gets he gets cr pretty crazy in the interview. Yeah, I won't get into it, it, but it's it's a definite laugh a minute interview because. Hearing Vince Russo go insane is just greatness. Yeah, I can imagine. A lot of uh, angry bros. Oh, yeah. A lot of bro. And do you mean to tell me? <laughs> Sounds like Bully Ray. It's close, man. It's fucking... It was pretty good, man. It, it was a good interview. Yeah, R.D. Reynolds, he just he lays into him, man. and Yeah. I don't think the guy expected it because... You can tell he didn't expect it, but right. Definitely check that one out too. There's another one. There's another good podcast to listen to. I will. But uh, back to the CM Punk thing, man. That is the topic of the week. Uh, that, that staph infection thing is pretty gross, dude. That's pretty nasty. That's pretty shitty of any doctor to do. And uh, and whether he a, didn't know what it was, you shouldn't be a fucking doctor if you don't know what it is, or B, just didn't want to take care of it. Either one of those, the guy should fucking really be investigated, in my opinion. And can we go ahead and say this now? Sure. Can we go ahead and say that Chris Benoit is a fucking sick son of a bitch? Sure. All right, well, Chris Benoit is a, is a sick fuck. Okay. Do you awesome. know why I'm saying this? I do know why. And we it. lost viewers again. Wow. What? Who the fuck are our viewers? <laughs> I mean, you guys are Chris Benoit and John Cena fans. All of you, Jesus Man, Christ. Oh, I love it, motherfuckers. Good God. Oh, Jesus. God damn. Christ. You can't think about Cena. Are, we, yeah. are people really that that fucking sensitive towards Chris Benoit in 2014? The same guy that killed his baby. It's not baby, but his child. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, 
can't talk about Cena. You can't talk about Chris Benoit. Who the fuck can we talk about? I can My talk about the grumpy cat. That's that's what we can talk about. Jesus. Now, guys, let's not make fun of people. I know we're not supposed to. We can't. Peace. Sorry. Out. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. No, but I, I mentioned Chris Benoit because of this. Because yeah. CM Punk mentioned that Chris Benoit used to pop people's blackheads and zits in the locker room for fun. Yeah, I heard that. So if that is not a fucking serial killer slash murderer, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is. Because, dude, that is a pretty good sign that there's something wrong with this guy's fucking brain. <laughs> I love it. You understand? Do you understand what I'm saying, man? You know how disgusting that is? Yeah. How do you have that as a hobby? I, like, I just... Oh my God, man! Man, Seriously. Kevin Sullivan must have. Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess Kevin Sullivan didn't do it now, right, folks? <laughs> so I guess we can put that to rest. I guess we can. There you go. So popping zits for fun, Chris Benoit wowed me once again. <laughs> so you can you can tell me how many great uh, arm drags he's done. In, in New Japan and all this shit, and you can send me YouTube links to his match against fucking uh, Jushin Liger and the, the J Cup tournament, and I don't give a shit, dude. This guy, fuck him. <laughs> Simply put, I agree. There you go. I'm with you. And this is coming from a from a former fan, but there you go. Um, Two of them. All right. There you go. Two of them. Dos. Uh, yeah. What else do we? Yeah, we had Ryback. He was he was he was uh, disrespecting Ryback. What do you think about this, man? I've been I've been talking the whole time, so why don't you go ahead and uh, well, take over, listening, dude? You're fine. Um, this is nothing we haven't heard about Ryback before. Right. So, again, what, what that he's a dumb fuck or he's just sloppy. Well, you can look at him and tell he's probably a dumb fucking meathead. Yeah. But sloppy, you can see. And I don't know, man. I mean, it, I didn't know that he had broken Punk's ribs, too, in a match previous. Yeah. So, I mean, that – I mean, the guy sounds like a fucking dangerous guy to work with, man. Well, apparently, he took 20 years off of uh, Punk's career. Apparently. <laughs> 20? That's, that's, a, that's a bold statement. That is. 20 years off of my career working with a guy. <laughs> wow. I guess that explains his a uh, deep push. I think it would, but now look, now look, he's back and Punk's gone, and well, now I think they're actually going to push Ryback just to piss off Punk. Probably exactly why they're going to fucking do it. They're probably going to push him to the sky. That'll piss that CM Punk off. Good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean Ryback, he came out with a couple of uh tweets, a couple of replies. I don't know if you saw them, but uh, he had like 20 different Ryback uh, figures, and uh, he had CM Punk, you know, put through the table, and it was it was it was making a mockery of you know what essentially happened. And if you guys aren't familiar with what happened, is I guess it was on an episode of Raw, I believe, if I recall correctly. He uh, he was supposed to power bomb CM Punk through a table, and he pretty much just. Missed the whole table. He slightly caught the edge, but pretty much all concrete, and that's when he got injured. And he really didn't want to work with the guy, so yeah, that, that really just you know pushed him over the edge. And he was he was he was done working with the guy. And he went backstage and he said, "Are you a dumb fuck, or you just suck, or are you doing it just purposely?" And uh, <laughs> apparently, Ryback came in. I'm a dumb fuck. I'm a dumb fuck. I don't I don't know any better. Uh, yeah. My favorite wrestler was the Warlord, so this is this is how I wrestle. Fucking Ryback. I'm still a fan of Ryback. I can't stop. I I don't know, man. But uh, this this interview, honestly, this this was really interesting, man. I I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah. And I guess he's he's gonna be on uh the Art of Wrestling once again this upcoming t uh Thursday. So uh, that's going to be interesting. If you guys want to send in some questions, I don't know of the email on the top of my head, but I'm sure you can listen to the podcast and figure that out for yourself. Yeah, yeah, you can probably go to uh, what is it? 
I Love Colt. Cabana. Probably. Probably. Yeah, hit, just go Colt Cabana in the Google, and it'll pull up, and you can go from there, I'm sure. Yeah. So, I don't know. Anything else you want to talk about as far as punk? <sighs> I'm trying to go through that whole interview, and there was so much in it that I don't know what I mean. Oh, the uh, piss what? test. The piss test. The piss test. Yeah. How uh, Triple H has not been taking the piss test. Why do you think that is? Steroids, perhaps, or? But I think it's funny. Scott Steiner tells close to the whole, close to that kind of that story. Right. But you know the whole oh, so you send the limo with Triple H in it, and I won't. Right. Uh, we'll go. Right. Day. We'll go. We'll go take the piss test together. But uh. I don't know. I mean. I don't know. Why well, I, I I I I did think that was weird of to ask CM Punk, the guy whose gimmick and whole life is straight edge. The guy has tattoos about being straight edge. Why would you ask him to take a piss test? Now, what if now, this is a crazy thought? What if you were a huge drug addict that just wanted to be a wrestler, right? <laughs> and your whole dream is to get into the WWE, but prior to entering the company, you know that you have to give a piss test. Now, your whole gimmick is that you're going to be straight edge as a wrestler. Do you think it's worth it to get all these tattoos just, just to get away with the gimmick so you can just continue to do drugs in the locker room? I don't think so, man. <laughs> you don't think so? It's a, but I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think that, that might be CM Punk's case. So he's probably just... Maybe he's probably just huge, so. huge heroin addict on, on, on the low. Says drug free. <laughs> yeah, he, he gets free drugs. He just turns it to free drugs when he really wants shit. There you go, man. Fucking so, There you go. Breaking news. CM Punk is a huge drug addict on the wall. CM Punk gets free drugs. He's not drug free. Man, yeah. we break in so much news every week, don't we? My God, I can't believe we haven't hit the dirt sheets yet. I know. Vince Russo's back. CM Punk is a heroin addict. Jesus Christ. What else? What else did we break in? Fucking Mike Johnson, you're welcome. Run with it. <laughs> Mike Johnson. <laughs> Dave Meltzer, you're welcome. Run with it. Wade Keller, call us. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Uh, PW Torch. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. PW Torch. Don't know yeah. Yeah, I uh, I just heard his interview on uh, Jim Ross today also. Okay. Man, you're doing a lot of uh, listening. I drove a lot today. Driving to Fort Worth is usually only a 40-minute ride, but when you're in traffic on the way down and you're in traffic on the way back, it's about a two-and-a-half-hour drive. Nice. Yeah, so I had a lot of uh, listening to do today. Nice, nice. Yeah. By the so, way... Uh... Matter of fact, I was listening to... A show that has nothing to do with wrestling. I was listening to a show called The Security Brief with Paul Violas. He's oh, a man. you traitor. Well, guess what his first comment is. Well, uh, hold on one second now. What? You listen to, to to podcasts that are not in relation with wrestling. Yeah, a couple of them. You dirty slime ball. Man, I know. I, 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 sorry, folks. We have to end the show. I know we're not going to, but because listen to what his first comment is, you're gonna love it. What's that? I want to thank the champ John Cena for following me on Twitter. Awesome. <laughs> An accomplishment. I, did I just fucking hear what I think I heard? He yeah. does. He he hires Cena security. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking this show will never mention wrestling ever unless they're making fun of it. And then what does he do? I want to thank John Cena. It's because John Cena is beyond wrestling, man. He's a he's a superstar. Yeah, you got to follow a uh, a global security expert. You know, and tells you how to get things through the airport and stuff. No, no. Let's let's go back. Let's rewind. <laughs> we have a do we have a rewind sound? We need a rewind sound, man. We got to get one of those. Uh, hold, on. hold on. I lost you there for a second. Go ahead. Oh, you can hear what I said? I nope. said I said we need it. We need one of the sound effects. We need a rewind one. 
You know that, like, uh, how you rewind a tape, it makes that weird sound? Yeah. All one I, of those sound effects. All I got that's close is Pac-Man. There you go. Rewind it. All right. We're back to CM Punk. All right. I thought this was interesting since we're talking about CM, uh, CM Punk and John Cena. Uh-huh. John Cena, make a wish, right? CM Punk, he claims he was doing just as many fucking uh, make a wishes as, as, as John Cena. He claims nah. that everybody does it. Yep. Everybody on the roster does it. Just like I've been saying forever. Yep. Not only on this show, when I was calling in your head, I was saying that. Forever, dude. It's, I told you. this is it, Everybody does it. It's just they're pushing this one fucking guy down our throats. And you got these, you got these fucking marks coming out here saying, "Oh, well, you gotta respect the guy because he does make a wishes." Everybody does them, man. It's not just this guy. Everybody does them. It's not. Everybody does the Susan G. Coleman Foundation and 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 all that and all that positive, great stuff that they do. I'm not. I'm not bashing that, but I'm saying it's just not fair that they don't get the same, that they don't get embraced for for, for what they do. When uh, John Cena is, is is the only guy that you see on television doing the doing these deeds. Yeah, like Punk said, they just don't advertise it, and it's the same for merch. You know, he he did outsell Cena on T-shirts and merchandise. Yeah. They just never advertised it. it Absolutely, just, never cared. Absolutely, and I think he did because he was definitely close at one point. So I definitely. Can believe he did. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, man, I I, I really love this interview. I, I I liked how Cole Cabana kind of just gave him the platform to just speak his mind. He didn't really ask too many questions. He just kind of let him tell a story, and I think that was that was probably the best formula to to go into this interview. Yeah, Colt kind of, yeah, you you're right. Colt just kind of shut his mouth. Let's see him punk do the talking. That's what he was there for, and he just kind of let it become the way it did. And, I I loved it too, man. I liked every minute of it. Yeah, well, a lot of people were complaining, saying that that Colt was annoying and he doesn't know how to interview people. I really don't get. I mean, he didn't really say anything. He barely said anything. I thought he did just fine. I exactly. I remained. I mean, he said a. He chimed in with what he knew and with what he didn't. He just shut the fuck up. Right. Uh, fucking people, man. You know. Yeah, Any fucking complain. Right. I guess. Yeah, I, I saw nothing wrong with what Colt did. And I'll tell you what, I've never heard... That's the first Art of Wrestling show I've ever heard. Oh, man, you gotta you gotta listen to the old ones. They're great. Yeah, I downloaded a, the Drew McIntyre one that he did a few weeks ago, too, just so I could kind of get a comparison on what his show is like. So That, that, that was your first choice? Well, no. <laughs> Please explain this one. There was only a few that I, I, I was... I was kind of going to the bathroom and looking at stuff, and I'm like, oh, look, a Drew McIntyre interview, too. I'd like to hear that. Man, I'm, I'm glad. Uh... That guy does good interviews, man. I've heard a couple interviews with him, and his interviews are fucking good. He was, he was he's good in the ring. Like I, I said uh, a couple weeks ago, I just saw him at House of Hardcore against uh, Austin Aries. Yeah, I, I, liked, I, I liked him. I liked when he came when he first came out. He was fucking aggressive and... That's what he's doing now. That's the same same uh, old gimmick, pretty much. I like it. I liked it when it when it when it was coming out. The chosen one. By the way, in the upcoming weeks, I don't want. I can't really talk about it on air yet, but I uh, just want to give it a quick tease. We're gonna be getting. Uh, we're gonna be doing some good promotion on some other podcasts. Uh, I'm helping out a couple other podcasts, doing some uh, helping them out in some other ways. So we're gonna get some. Good promotion out of it, maybe some collaboration, so that's some good stuff to look forward to. We are? We are. That's breaking news to you, too. Awesome. There you, go. You, see how, you see how we do things, man? We just... There you go, man. Spitting facts, breaking in news, you know, fucking making I, up rumors. I love hearing stuff when the when, when, when the marks do. Yeah, it's great. It's like finding out on the dirt sheets the next day. It's fucking great. It is great, man. <laughs> It is absolutely great. So, yeah. All right. Another thing, we're going to have a new logo next week. So that's something else. <laughs> you said that a while ago. Yeah, fine, yeah. I kind of I kind of jimmied one, if you if you saw the one I'm putting in the events. 
I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll have a I'll have a logo next week. Yeah, we need something to put on some T-shirts, man, and and koozies and um, eight by tens. Got to have eight by tens because they yeah, may no, be just care. We we learn from the best. Hey, gonna have I'll, truck. I, I, I'll be watching the New Japan show. There you go, man. We're gonna have hot tag trucker hats and hot tag eight by ten signed by your uh, yours truly and the box man. That's Go right. For ninety nine cents. That's right. I'll sign a box man, <laughs> Richardson, whatever you want me to. It's gonna be great. Box man, if you want me to, whatever you want, I'll sign them. <laughs> box Davidson, uh, David Boxingson, whatever. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, what else <laughs> you want to? Want to segue into the Austin and, and McMahon one? I like how you just blew out of that. It's like, oh, righty then. Anyway. Right. <laughs> no sell. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you know, we, got, we got a lot of good interviews this week. I mean, Jesus, man. We had the McMahon one and the, and the CM Punk one, and we got another one to look forward to. Speaking so. of New Japan. Oh, yeah. Network? They did launch a network. I'm I'm trying to find the 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 things so I can, but all I keep seeing is Tyron Terrell's ass and I can't get away from it. Um, oh, hold on. <laughs> hey, if, if if you can make it past Tyron Terrell's ass, you're shocking. Where yeah, is that? Yeah, New Japan did launch a little thingamajiggy. Yeah, it's gonna be for uh, eight forty two. Yeah, fuck you, nine ninety nine. Fuck you, nine ninety nine. Eight forty two. Go suck nine ninety nine worth the dick, motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get over the eight forty two chance at uh at the Royal Rumble. <laughs> You're welcome, New Japan. Fuck man, did they take their did they take that fucking article down? Man, we are so nice to these to these wrestling promotions. We give we give WWE so many great ideas. Now I'm gonna get over New Japan, you're welcome, New Japan. Yeah. We're just such nice guys. Terrific. <laughs> yeah, of uh, Caitlin that you posted. Oh, yeah. God damn. She's kind of too muscular for me, man. She's like, oh, no, she's perfect. Oh no, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like the muscularness. Yes, her legs could get a little smaller, but Jesus, man, she, she. Look at that. Looks like China. Look at those boobs pop, popping out the side. No, she's much better looking than China. Oh, of course, but I'm exaggerating. But, yeah. Dude, I can't find that shit. I can't. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what happened to it. No, all I'm looking at is stuff for Destination America. New Japan, Pro Wrestling TV. Nope, American TV deal. I don't know, man. They must have deleted that shit. Whatever. Anyway, I guess let's get into the Austin and McMahon because I'm kind of getting hungry here. Yeah, we could do that real quick. Um, Again, I didn't watch it, but I heard a little bit about it today. So, Well, I'll just touch base quickly on, on, on the main points. Go ahead, man. Uh... Vince McMahon, he did apologize to CM Punk. Mm-hmm. Heard for, that. Uh, yeah, for uh, you know, I guess I guess Vince McMahon, you know, he he claims that he had no idea that the uh, I guess his 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 notice of of being terminated turn uh, terminated. God damn it, man! Term- his termination notice. He did terminated. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get. We gotta get. We gotta get one of those like uh you know those like botch sounds like the dun, dun, dun. yeah we gotta get, <laughs> gotta get one of those <laughs> the dramatic but, uh, thing. yeah but he got his uh, termination notice on his on his uh on his uh, wedding day and Vince McMahon apparently didn't know so he apologized for that which I thought was kind of nice then I again don't. CM you don't you don't believe that no I don't believe it I Why? believe he apologized because I heard it I don't believe he didn't know. I mean, why does CM Punk care, though? He, he walked out. He wanted to leave. Who gives a shit? 
It's still pretty shitty to do. Uh, I cannot believe the way Vince McMahon, the way we've heard stories of how Vince McMahon micromanages that company that he didn't know that was going to be overnighted to him on his wedding day. But then I again, think. this is this is a different day, man. He's he's not involved as as, as he's not as involved as he used to be. I don't believe that either. I oh, I just don't. Man. No. I, I think Triple H is is fakely involved. I think they just kind of put him out there because Vince doesn't want to be on television a lot anymore. But I think Vince is just running everything. Still, I do. It's just the way I think. I could be wrong. If I am, oh fuck me, I'm wrong. Yeah, I don't know, man. But I don't believe it. I don't believe a businessman like him would not know something like that. Uh, with a with an employee of that magnitude, wouldn't know what was going on. Just, just, just me. Just being a business owner, understanding. Or even if he knew, just the fact that he came out and apologized. I mean, it's better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, an apology is good, but. But like I said, man, I really don't understand why CM Punk cares. He wanted to leave. So who cares, man? I mean, he knows WWE is childish. He knows they do shit like this, so it's it's not really it's not really a big surprise. No, it's not a surprise. I just don't I just don't believe that Vince didn't know. I I think that's bullshit. Yeah, probably not. Maybe maybe yeah. he knew. I don't know. I really apology, doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The apology itself could be completely sincere. If it is, awesome. But ah, yeah. businessman talk, man. Businessman talk. Yeah, but um. I really like this interview because it seemed like Austin. He he just he started shooting the shit, man. It wasn't it was it was no boundaries. Nothing was holding him back. I really I enjoyed it because he asked him a lot of questions. He didn't really throw many softballs. No, not many. I mean, I, I, I really don't think he did. No, I, I like I said, I I heard a a quick review of the interview, so I, I did hear a lot of the questions and some of the answers and. But um, yeah, I mean, he, he um, basically he basically said that the roster doesn't have many stars. He basically said that there's no depth to the roster. Pretty much the same thing that that we've been saying. And uh, Vince agreed surprisingly. And he yeah, he basically that? said, also said it. Alt, stop only pushing John Cena. And they made they even made mention of that as 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 Cena pretty much being the only guy. But it's their fault. He's the only guy. Of That's what you get. It's their fault. He's the only guy. Of it's, course. I mean, there's no one else to blame. You can blame the locker room all you want, but when Cena does what he does to guys, and I mean, Triple H going out there and you know belittling everyone isn't helping. Bray Wyatt. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just the way. I don't know. There's just a lot of. I don't know, man. I, I like I said, I didn't hear the interview. I just heard a review of it, so uh, I guess I shouldn't comment too much. Yeah, well, maybe maybe we'll uh, briefly talk about it again next week once you watch it. But uh, I'm gonna watch it probably tonight. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. But uh, I I like that Austin got a quick uh, plug in for for Cole Cabana. He actually yeah. mentioned his podcast on there, so he he got it in there quickly. But uh, he he definitely got it in there. I liked it, man. I like that, and the clip I heard, and from what they were saying, Austin was on his game. Yeah, yeah, that's that's and what I can hear. And Austin is on the game. Yeah, red hot, man. And uh, the thing that I didn't really get, they kept saying that they were on some kind of like, uh, like I guess they only had an hour. And once the hour ran out, they, they said, you know, yeah, since I'm since I'm the the owner of the network, we're gonna have another 15 minutes. Why not just go as as, as much as you want? It's not like it's on, a, on on television. You don't have anybody to answer. You own the fucking network. Yeah, but I it, I, I personally I wouldn't want to blow my whole wad because you you want to see what this does. If this works, Austin should be doing this once a month at least. Get Stephanie. Get Linda. Get Shane. Oh my God. Get Shane. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not so big on Shane. Everybody loves Shane, but uh, I love Shane. I don't know why. I do. I do. Yeah. Always thought he was good. I'd love to hear that fucking music playing. 
Yeah, but uh. Yeah. Money, 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 money. Oh, sorry. Money. <laughs> money. I loved when he used to come to the ring dancing like a fool. It was great. I I, I loved Shane. I mean, trust me. I know he wasn't a good wrestler. He wasn't good at this, but oh man, guy, he took some great bumps though. Exactly. The guy will take some sick bumps. And let's face it, he didn't have to. He's the boss's son. Oh yeah, but, I respect him for that for sure. Yeah, and and, and you know he kind of felt like he had to prove himself to the boys. So. Give yeah. him some credit for what he did. I mean, look, look at that fall he took with Steve Blackman. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. That was that was a big... F I don't care what was underneath you. That was a... Survivor Series? Was it Survivor Series or was it... I think it was Survivor Series. It might have been. I know the, I know the King of the Ring was uh, him and Angle. Yeah, the glass spot. Well, the glass didn't break, and you could plainly see Shane knocked out going, Do it again. And at one time, you actually hear Kurt go, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah I, 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 you know what? That, that might have been one of the moments where I was like, God damn, this motherfucker is badass. You know, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't you, you can tell me Shane was shit in the ring. You can say he couldn't do this, couldn't do that. But you got to respect him for what he did. For the Wait, I actually talked about Shane on uh, Vince McMahon. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. I, I like I said, I, I I did I did catch some of it today, and he said he's uh he said Japan, but it's actually China. But who knows? Yeah. But uh, he said he is open to working with CM Punk once mm -hmm. again. Um, I really don't see that happening, other than him going in the Hall of Fame one day. I don't think he's going to be back in the ring. I don't think you're ever going to see it again. Um, I've been honestly, man, I've been saying this for the longest time. When he quit, I knew it was done. Mm -hmm. Just because when you watch his documentaries and his interviews and you know, I mean, I've I've watched Punk for for way before he was he was in uh, WWE. Just because you know, like I said, once again being in Philly, there was you know a big scene with the you know tape trading, and he was wrestling in Philly a lot. So I I watched a lot of his wrestling, and you could, you got to know him through his documentaries and all the footage and everything. You could tell the guy he he, he had a lot of pride. So I knew when he quit, even if he wants to come back, the pride is not gonna let him. He's just done. Yeah. I yeah, think I, I gotta. I I I honestly hearing that interview he did, I wouldn't know. I I wouldn't be surprised if he really did never wrestle again. No, he's. I don't think he is. I could see him maybe doing like a. At least not in WWE. Let me no, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I I could see him doing like an ROH nostalgia show or something. Yeah, maybe like New Japan ROH something like that. But I could see him give someone else a bump. I. Don't see him going to TNA. I don't know if no, I no TNA is not happening, dude. No TNA is not. I, I think as 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 much as uh, he's not liking WWE right now, I think uh, he knows better. It was funny because uh, Austin actually mentioned TNA on the network. <laughs> I heard he mentioned it a few times. Well, I only heard it once. Really? I, I, I believe it was only once. Good for because him. He was, he was talking about how. Uh, there is no competition since uh, he bought out WCW, and you know he said, "With all due respect to TNA, but uh, yeah, but you know Vince, of course, no sold it. He probably doesn't even know what TNA is. Yeah, he does. I don't want to hear that. Well, I, I know he knows, but yeah, Vince but, is uh, the one I, clip I did see today was I, I did see one clip today though when I right when I got home or right, right when I got here, it was on my Facebook of. Vince rolling his eyes when Steve mentioned that Vince had a Twitter. Why? Because Vince just rolled his eyes at him like, yeah, like I use that. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were you were uh, I thought you were implying that you know it was supposed to be like a secret because I remember they plugged it on 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 Raw that Vince McMahon is now on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really doubt he's there hitting the keys. No, of course not, man. I doubt, you know, John Cena is there hitting the keys. I'm sure they have they have secretaries doing all that stuff. I I think they have social media guys doing all that. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I am sure. Probably the same guy getting smacked around by Del Rio. <laughs> well, he's gone. Yeah. Is he? Good. 
Yeah, they got rid of him, or he quit, one of the two. I know he's not there anymore. Yeah, get him out of there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think of anything else uh, as far as the Vince and the CM Punk interviews. It's going to be interesting hearing CM Punk on, on Thursday, though, and uh, hear his uh, reply to, to Vince. Yeah, I was trying to download that interview on iTunes, man. I could not get it to download. Too many people. I wasn't the only one. A lot too of people much, didn't download. Yeah, too much demand, dude. Yeah, that must have been a big... It broke the internet. He must. He broke the internet. He broke the internet. I think he broke iTunes the other day, too, when it came out. I literally, I couldn't get to download. I tried for two days, and then I just finally put it on my... Got, downloaded it from... Um, Oh, um, somewhere I downloaded it from and uh, put it on my phone. And let me go ahead and mention this, man. I see this a lot uh, on, on, you know, different different uh, wrestling websites or whatever. A lot of people, when something big happens, for example, this whole Vince, Vince interview on, on, on Austin's podcast that was on the network, um, I saw a lot of people today asking for the footage and asking for links to the footage like, dude, it's fucking ten dollars. Just buy it. Yeah. You it's... can if you're working at, at at McDonald's anywhere, you can you you can afford ten dollars, man. I would hope. And but... and, and honestly, you being on a message board makes me believe that you're obviously a huge wrestling fan, so it's worth it for you to buy this network. So why the fuck are you asking for links? I mean, I, I can understand if it was like a hundred dollars a month. Or, it's ten bucks a month, dude. It's ten bucks a month. You get free pay per views. You get all this other crap that comes on there. Enjoy it. Stop trying to, you know, bootleg and pirate everything. Yeah, I wish we could have. I wish we could have played it live, and we could. Uh, I think we'd get in trouble for that. I don't think so. As long as you don't play the whole thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wish we could play the whole thing live and just talk about it while it's going. Well, as long as you break it up into segments, you can do it. I don't want to do that. Yeah, well, you I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do it. That'd be a four-hour show, but you can <laughs> if you want to. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that shit either. Yeah, but uh, anything else? Not unless you want to talk about Lucha Underground. I know we got started late and we didn't, we didn't want to talk long tonight. So. Uh, I don't even remember. Like what happened? I watched the third show. That's where I'm at. Oh, you're on the third? Yeah. All right, I'm on the fifth. Um, they're starting to bring in some storylines. They're starting to get some uh, more wrestlers. They're starting to uh, they're starting to come into their own. It looks like I. Did anybody new uh, debut on the fifth episode? New? No. Let me see. I don't think. Awesome. I'll tell you what though, I really like that uh that Pentagon is is that is that the one? Pentagon Pent Junior oh. who's the other guy? Phoenix. Phoenix, that guy, man. That guy his offense is awesome. Uh they're brothers. He's he's awesome. Yeah, that's why the, those two are incredible. That Phoenix is un fucking believable. I if I'm most great. Yeah, he's definitely good. He came out to um he came out on the fifth episode too. Both of them did. Uh, yeah, I mean there was a. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, 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 they're just starting to follow the storyline instead of just having some matches. You know what I mean? But um, everything I'm reading about Lucha Underground, people are loving it, man. Right now, it's oh, just yeah. best it's, product it, out there, dude. I, I really think it is. I I can't say enough good. And I know every week we probably sound like little fanboys about it, but. I don't give a shit, dude. We're we're like I said, we're spitting facts. Hashtag spitting facts. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good stuff, man. I love it. I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. And like I said, man, after I watch it, I'm like, man, I wish that was another hour. I I could see them getting a two-hour show quickly on a on on a, a bigger station. Yeah, why not? It's good stuff. I could see it, and I would definitely watch this shit on two hours. I, hope, I, I certainly hope that they're growing in numbers as far as viewers. I haven't looked. Um, I'm sure they are. I mean, sure it, are. it's trending. I think I lost you. Let's see, I burped. 
Lucha Underground. Let's go fourth episode ratings. Let's see if we can find anything. Fourth episode da, 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 ratings. I haven't looked just because I, I mean, I was curious, but I mean, they're in so few homes. Yeah. Here we go. Viewership and numbers for episode four of Lucha Underground. Don't know why I sounded German there, but I did. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. Here we go. By the way, I found a I found a really odd match between uh uh Samurai del Sol, aka uh what's his name now in WWE Callisto? Callisto, yeah. Callisto. Yeah. He actually had a match with a uh, Mil Mascaris. Huh? Isn't that weird. Yeah. Oh, here we go. A uh, weird matchup. That is a strange match. Episode four. Wow. It was down seventeen thousand viewers. Oh, it was down. It was down seventeen thousand. Well, how much? How much was it? The biggest numbers they've done. Hold on here. The today, the best numbers they've done is around twenty nine thousand viewers. They brought in sixteen thousand for the fourth episode. The third episode did twenty nine. And and the fourth one was only sixteen. Yeah. Now you got to remember something. And I'm sure this is not going to get mentioned anywhere else, but I'll mention it. This is also replayed on two Spanish channels. That is true. This could be getting much better ratings on 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 on, a, on another channel that in we. Fact, it is. In fact, it is because I remember um, for the second episode, I believe it was they they got more than a uh, half a million on one of the Spanish channels. Wow. Yeah. Ser search that one up because uh, that's that's what I read somewhere. I I forget where. Good. Let me see here. Let me see what this brings up. Because, yeah, it's definitely... I mean, that's just on the El Rey network that I'm looking at. So. Yeah, plus that many, not that many people are getting the El Rey network, me included. I don't get it. Yeah, myself included, I, I don't get it. I... Damn, that's a good picture, a sexy star. Yeah, I like, I like her, man. I saw some pictures of her unmasked. Sexy is the right name for her. Really? Oh, she's fucking hot. You think? Right. Post post those up on the Facebook. I'll do it later. Don't don't be stingy. And you know the girl licking people with Mil Mascaris? Yeah, I like that too. You just said Mil Mascaris. Mil Muerte? Yeah. Mil Muertes. That's Maxine. Uh, TNA? No. She was in WWE. Oh, who gives a shit? She was... Oh, okay. I don't I, you, you know I don't know TNA Impact Girls or Divas and no, I'll tell you what though the sexy star I can I can watch her like against Paige and AJ I'd be interested in that but as far as like you know Nikki I, I don't give a shit dude I can't watch it yeah it, it, it's on uh, uh, Unimas but I can't get the ratings yeah let me try one thing here U N I M A S. That's all right. Now. Maybe we'll get it for next week. Oh, uh, here we go. It was still down, but they're doing pretty good on that channel. Yeah. yeah this is this is from P W Torch, so it's gonna take a minute to load. Speaking of P W Torch from earlier. Step it up, P W Torch. Let's see. Step uh, it up. The third episode did on November fifteenth did about one hundred ninety two thousand up from one hundred seventy. So they're doing okay. I mean, they look, look. This is their fifth show, man. Let's you know, word of mouth takes a while to come through, but uh, well, yeah, as long it's, as it's growing, it's, you know? yeah, it's better than nothing, man. It is. So Plus, the the most important thing is 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 the fact that. Pretty much whoever has watched it has has liked it. That's that's the most important thing. Yeah, absolutely. And I like I said, I mean, it's definitely one of the best. It's it, it's got to be the best wrestling TV show on right now. 
as far as I'm concerned. I think it's the best wrestling since uh, ECW. Ooh. That's a bold I'm, statement. I'm going to go ahead and say it now, man. Wow. I think I'd probably have to agree with you, though. I mean, just, just, just basing it off the you know three episodes that I've seen. And keep in yeah. mind, I've only watched three episodes. I mean, it's definitely produced better than ECW was. No, no, but... no and I'm only saying ECW because ECW was so different. That's why I'm comparing this to ECW because it's so different. It reminds me of something new. You know, it's 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 not the same formula that you would see on Nitro or on on Raw, and now it's not the same same formula as you would see on Impact or Raw. So, I right. like it, man. It's it's something different. It's it's fresh. It's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, they, I enjoy it. They didn't go into it going let's let's try to do it better than WWE. Right. They went in and said let's do a whole new original wrestling show. And they are. I think they are. I think, the like I said, the vignettes are badass. People who I never thought would be badasses. I mean, Johnny Morrison is, is a badass on this show. Don't forget the character build-ups, man. I mean... They're amazing. Just yeah. the, I mean, they're, they're amazing. The vignettes, everything is everything is good. I like I like the eerie like effects they have to, to the backstage segments. I mean, that's all, you know, Robert uh, Rodriguez, you know. They're doing actual character development. Yeah. They're, 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 they're forwarding storylines. Who, who would have thought? I, I, I Look, man, <laughs> I don't know, but obviously they did. Right. Because yeah, uh, it it just like you said, a breath of fresh air. It's new. It's original. It's just it's it's what we've been needing, I think. So let's just hope they keep growing. And I would love to see these guys on tour in the next you know four or five years. Yeah. Well, I think we've uh, had a pretty decent show tonight, man. I think so too. I think we've covered the wrestling gamut, if you will. We have. The wrestling gauntlet. We have. We've talked about, let's see, we talked about uh, Punk, we talked about New Day, we talked about Chris Benoit's punk ass. Um, CM uh, Punk story, the Vince McMahon interview, yeah. Raw. We talked about z Packs. z Packs. how much John Cena sucks. <laughs> uh, watch out, we're going to lose people. Nope, not yet. Let me see if there's a... Uh, no, well, I guess not. Whoever, whoever, <laughs> all the remaining folks that are... Uh, the, the remaining people in, are remaining. Nice. Yeah, they're, not, they're not in the C Nation, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> we just, we, uh, yeah, we covered everything, pretty much. I think we've covered about as much as we can cover, man. Yeah. But, uh, before we leave, I did... Purchased this uh, VHS tape. Old oh, school. What? A VHS tape. Now. What is that? Something like a UFO. Okay. Something, <laughs> something that you've just heard about. It's just, it's just myth. <laughs> awesome. In all, in, in all seriousness, I, I got this uh, VHS. It's an independent. Uh, it's, I believe it was a UWF show. Mm -hmm. Not, not the old school like you know Southern. UWF. This was a different UWF that was a uh, independent promotion um, in the early 90s, I believe. And guess what the main event was? It was Cactus Jack, right? Uh huh. Against the guy that essentially really motivated him to become a wrestler and inspired him. It was Cactus Jack against Jimmy the Superfly Snooker. Wow. That's that's a hell of a match right there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I never knew that existed, so uh, I I had to buy it. I don't blame you. I would have too. Yeah. So I got I got about uh ten or ten or eleven VHS tape coming tapes coming in from uh like independent shows from the early nineties. So a lot of Eddie and and they're all mostly like uh, shows from Philadelphia, so they're kind of uh. It's like it's like fan cam a lot of them, so it's it's kind of rare. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy having like you know like footage that I pretty much know like maybe like another like hundred people own. Hmm. And, uh, it's kind of rare, but uh, yeah, I think there's like uh, 
there's a bunch of matches with uh, Eddie Gilbert and, and uh, I think like Kevin Sullivan, Eddie Gilbert and, and Jerry Lawler in Philadelphia, you know, Eddie Gilbert and Funk, Cactus Jack, Bam Bam Bigelow against Abdul the Butcher, bunch of bunch of weird, you know, matchups that I only uh, dreamed of when I was a kid, so yeah. now I can watch it come to reality. Well, cool, man. That's always a good thing. It is a good thing. I would say so. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Well, man, I guess oh. that's it, man. Well, we had a nice manly show, and we weren't uh, crying like pussies. So <laughs> it's always a good thing. Crying like a pussy. Crying like a pussy. <laughs> but we, we were not like crying like pussies. We didn't use the board much this show. Yeah, we held our own, and uh, we threw our uh, grapefruits on top of the table before we turned on the broadcast button, and we went live, and so far, so good, man, and this is the end of it. No, I wish I'll be back. What was that? I no think I lost you. No updating this time? No updating this time, so thank you, YouTube. That means I can uh, download only one and not have to convert to an AVI. There you go. Fine. There you go. So takes me a couple hours if I have to do it in two pieces. So good. I'm glad we didn't have to do any of that sh shit tonight. There you go. So hopefully it'll be up in the next couple of days. You guys can check it out in the archives on iTunes. I guess we should plug our shit in, right? Give this, give this good audio... Greatness on air. And, audio uh, greatness, that's right. Audio greatness on air. Motherfucking audio greatness. Greatness, yeah. Greatness, there you go. Greatness. But, uh, yeah, man, join us Join us on, on Twitter. Join me on Twitter at Shagan Shaheen, I believe that is. I, I don't even know my own fucking Twitter handle. I'm, that is ridiculous. You just fucking post it on Facebook, because I, I, I... Whatever. <sighs> you're... you're, you're uh, your name's all fucked up, man. Yeah, man. Dude, fuck you, man. Your name's <laughs> fucked up, man. This <laughs> fucking guy. Box man, real hard to fucking spell. This guy. Well, <laughs> what do you want from me, man? I'm foreign. Fuck you. <laughs> anyway. What was we that? Got, uh, text message. Won't leave me alone. Oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, God damn it, right? You got them but, uh, you know. There you go, man. But uh, <laughs> you can join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups, slash THT Podcast. Join us on Twitter, THT Podcast. Join us on YouTube, Turnbuckle Corner, or the THT Wrestling Podcast. You can join us on iTunes, THT Wrestling Podcast. Make sure you do that. Definitely go on iTunes, THT Wrestling Podcast. Subscribe, leave a review. Do something good. Do something kind. Share the shit. We have no goddamn reviews, you punk motherfuckers. Leave some fucking reviews already. Son of a bitch. I know calling you punk motherfuckers isn't exactly going to get you to do it, but if I say please, will you? Please, punk motherfuckers. Do please. it or I'll dropkick you. That's right. Shaheen will, Shaheen will kick I'll your ass. Drop dropkick you. That's right. He'll be out there like, yo. I didn't hear no bell. I didn't hear no bell. There you go, man. I'll, I'll pull out the fork like Abdul the Butcher minus the appetite of C. <laughs> you know? I'm glad you added that last part. There you go, man. That was... then, but then we can have, uh, then we can literally have 45 minutes of uh, blade jobs. Oh, God. We should, we should bring back audio blade jobs next week. You think? I think so. I think Raw's probably going to suck. Uh, TNA doesn't exist. Uh, Global Force that, doesn't man. exist. New Japan is not here, so we have pretty much just Raw to talk about next week, so let's talk about some blading. We can talk about blading or maybe figure out something else. I don't know. Maybe we can uh, put something on Facebook. We can do a little talk about whatever. All right. Maybe we can do that. We've done blading already twice. Oh, well, blading is always good. Oh, I, I, I agree. Well, blading is always, always, always uh, good talk. You better answer that text before your phone blows up. Yeah. I guess I should probably put it on silent, right? That's how professional we are. You see that? My phone's on vibrate, man. My phone's oh, on. Fuck you, man. Well, then this I... guy trying to throw me under the bus when we're at, at the end of the show. 
Do you know how many times you've thrown me under the bus on this show? <laughs> it's all good, man. We're just shooting the shit. It's all good. It's all for the love. It's all for the love of the audio greatness. The the it's all for the audio, man. Audio blade jobs and audio greatness. That's right, man. We got Alrighty. it now. Okay, I think. All right. we're done. Let's get the hell out of here, man. Join us next week, Tuesday. Uh, we kind of just come in between seven thirty to eight. Yeah, so it's it's professional, you know. Be how we do to, things. Uh, depending on it, it just depends what I'm doing, man. If I'm if I can get here early, I I do. If I if I can't, I I just. That's what we do. That's, that's what we do. Just know you're gonna get a show and uh, be ready for it. Damn it. Be ready for it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed uh, complaining all night. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully I won't be complaining next week. Hopefully we'll have something good. If we're talking audio blade jobs, I'm sure I won't be complaining because I'll have a good time. If we're yeah. talking John Cena in the beginning of the show and the end of the show, I'll probably be complaining again. So probably. Yeah. And I'll be sure next time I uh, I bring twist offs. There you go, man. So we'll be back. See uh-huh. ya. See ya. Pack your ass, my good man. Time to kick back, drink your biz, and smoke some weed. Crying like a pussy. <laughs>